So guys, kind of didn't go according to plan today's episode. I had edited some footage that I wanted to show you guys from a couple of days ago which didn't work out. So I'm literally recording this episode at the end of the night. But I'm happy because new light came so you guys can actually see me at night when I'm at home which is cool instead of everything looking dark. So I'll definitely be doing a lot more indoor footage at home for you guys to check out. But something interesting to check out is on the Silk Road, um, they actually published an article I'm going to pull up real quick. But we have some more information about the way eggs uh, hatch and which eggs are going to be rare. I will drop the link to this in the description below so you guys can go ahead and read it if you want to. But I'm going to skip ahead to the meat. Um, basically, the research that's been compiled lets us know which Pokemon are more spawn more commonly in certain types of eggs. So we're going to run through this super duper quickly. Um, so cut to the chase to make it super easy for you guys, for all you egg hatches out there, because there are a bunch of you who I know love to hatch eggs in Pokemon Go. This image right here tells you everything so basically in terms of how Pokemon hatch from eggs uh, you have a 2.54% chance of hatching Ekans, Golding, Nidoran, Nidorin, Geodude and Krabby all from 2k eggs you have a 2.54% chance uh, those are common but they, those fall into the common category for 5k eggs it's Sandshrew, Parasect, uh, Psyduck, Poliwag, Tentacruel, Ponyta, Staryu, Nortu, Wooper, and Fanfi. From 5k eggs, from 10k eggs, you have Dratini and the baby version of Fortress, Pineco. That's the name. Totally forgot. I don't know why I didn't remember it. Pineco and Dratini are common from 10k eggs. Those are the common Pokemon for 10k eggs. Uncommon Pokemon for 2k eggs. Abra, Execute, Oddish, Pichu, Bulbasaur, Ghastly, Slowpoke, Slugma, Charmander, Machop, Squirtle, um, Apom, Diglett, uh, Cleffa, Igglybuff, and Togepi. Those are all the uncommon Pokemon that will hatch from 2k eggs and there is a 1.2% chance of hatching any one of those of the, any one of those Pokemon. So for any of you guys interested in that. Next for 5k uncommon Vulpix, Growlithe, Magnemite, Cubone, Smoochum, Shelder, Drowsy, Voltorb, Rhyhorn, Elkid, Scyther, Stantler, which I still don't have and I still haven't seen in the wild. Eevee, uh, Kyrogue, and Smoochum? We already did Smoochum. Magby. Magby. Um, those are uncommons for 5kx. Next is Uncommon 10k, Mantine, Gligar, and Lavatar. I'm looking at all you Lavatar people out there who have found so many Lavatars. I still have not seen any in the wild. I haven't hatched any. I am jealous. I want a Lavatar so I can get a Tyranitar. Next is Rare 2k eggs, Remoraid. It's literally the only Pokemon in there. Uh, rare for 5k is Dugong, sorry, Seal, Onyx, Tangler, and Pinsir. Those all have a 0.63% chance, so obviously they're super rare, really hard to get. Um, for 10k, it's Chansey, Mareep, and Sudu Wudu uh, from eggs. But to be quite honest, I've actually seen a lot of Sudu Wudu in the wild, so. I don't think you necessarily need you. Ne you don't necessarily need to hatch Sudowoodoo. 
Um, I feel like the Sudowoodoo spawns are pretty good. I see Sudowoodoo in my suburb, suburb a lot. Um, I do wish that Niantic would increase Sudowoodoo slightly, though they are a rare Pokemon. Um, yeah. So, and then the final category is ultra rare Pokemon, which have a 0.32% chance of spawning 2k eggs. Madriv, Madrivius, the only Pokemon for 2k. That's extremely rare. Then we have 5k eggs, and of course, Muck, Lickitung, Coughing, Shuckle, uh, Sneasel, Wobbuffet, Girafferidge, uh, Poly, Poly, Gone. Porygon, sorry, uh, Omanyte, Kabuto, Dunsparce, Yanima. So, all those Pokemon for 5k eggs are super ultra rare. Yeah, I've never hatched any of those. I have caught most of those Pokemon in the wild. Again, if you find a good nest, utilize the Silph Road for your local area, see if you can find one. 10k eggs, of course, Lapras, Tank, Snorlax. Uh, Skarmory and Aerodactyl. Skarmory I've caught at least two in the wild so I'm kind of happy with that. I'll probably end up walking with those when I need to um, if I want to. So that's going to be it for this video guys but for you egg lovers out there, people who like to get their distance on their eggs, I'm not much of an egg fan, I'm more of a catch them all, map them all. Hashtag suburb spawn diversity kind of person. So yeah, if you are having issues with your suburb rule, then definitely hashtag me at that and let me know what your spawns are like. So, but that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hopefully next week will be more exciting for Pokemon Go. There's been so much news this week. I think we're Pokemon Go news out. I'll never be. Maybe you guys are. But I don't know. But. Again, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below and I will reply it for sure. Um, and that's going to be it. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening. God bless. Peace.